Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be talking about the Elegoo Mars Pro. Now this is an upgrade to the Elegoo Mars, and it comes in at $299 USD. So it's just slightly more expensive than the regular Mars, but it's got quite a few upgraded features, and I will get into that. But first, I just wanted to go over the, the structure of this video. So first, I'm just going to talk about some of the features of this printer and compare it to the Mars. Um, and then I will get into kind of our thoughts and experiences with the printer and then I'll finish it out with um, my recommendation. Okay, so first off, this thing is packaged really, really well, just like the original Mars was. Um, there was no damage during shipping or anything like that. It's really, really well sealed in there. It also includes a box of accessories that will help you get started if you've never done resin printing before. Visually, it looks very similar to the Mars, but they moved the um, the USB port from the back of the machine to the front of the machine, which is really nice. And they added a rubber gasket to go around the lid when you slide it on, um, and it just helps seal um, the stuff in the chamber. And now to talk about some of the upgraded features. Um, they have a new vat that they designed that will hold a bit more resin, and it also has a max fill line, which is nice. Uh, the build volume is the same as the Mars. It is, it is 4.7 inches by 2.6 inches by 6.1 inches. Well, that's the, that's the build volume, not the, you get it. But they did add a new texture to the bottom of the build plate. Um, they call it their CD grain texture, and they say that it's supposed to help the print stick better. More on that in a second. They also upgraded some of the components in there, like they have a new stepper motor and a new linear rail that's just supposed to be better. They also have something that they call a new UV technology that is just basically just supposed to improve the quality of the prints overall. So I think that was all of the main upgrades that they made to the Pro. So let's get into our experiences and just our thoughts on the printer overall. So we've been using this thing for about two weeks and we've been printing pretty much non-stop on it. Chelsea's had models going pretty constantly. All we used was the Elegoo water washable resin. Um, and it ran really, really well. Uh, we only had a couple failures and those were mostly due to like supports not being enough in specific areas. I also really like the um, USB being in the front now, just a little more accessible. I'd also really like to see in the future if they would move the, the power switch to either the front or the side. It's just kind of not very handy to reach behind it, but um, the USB in the front's a good step in the right direction there. And one of the best features I think for this machine and one of the questions we get the most when talking about these machines is um, related to the smell. And I mentioned they had the gasket to help kind of seal the smells inside the chamber and that works um, really, really well. They added a carbon filter to help um, sort of filter the, the air inside the machine. And um, while we don't recommend this, the whole time we were using it, it was sitting on the desk next to us. Like we have both of our desks up here and it's sitting between us probably two feet from each of us and we could barely smell anything unless Chelsea like took the lid off to you know, work with the resin. Like I said, we don't recommend that. You should probably have it in a pretty well ventilated area, not around yourself a lot, but um, if absolutely need be, we, we could barely smell it. I also noticed that this machine is pretty quiet. Um, we do have a little bit of squeaking on the linear rail, um, which we just need to oil it, but other than that, it's, it's pretty silent. And then I said I would get back to that CD grain texture on the build plate. Um, they claim that it makes things stick better, and we can confirm that. Um, we didn't have any issues with things sticking to the original Elegoo Mars, um, and this one, it might stick a little too well, honestly. Um, we've had to back off the bed leveling quite a bit, and it still just sticks ridiculously hard. Um, it's not really a problem, it's just, it's just kind of tough to get off, but it works. And then, um, this one's a little bit harder to quantify, but um, I did notice the prints just looking a little bit crisper off of this one. It might be the UV technology that they have that makes it crisper towards the edges and stuff like that, but I just feel like the prints coming off of this one were just slightly crisper. A lot of the details on the miniatures that we made, it just they look like they came out better. Like I said, I can't really confirm that. That's just kind of my eye seeing things, so your mileage may vary, but I feel like... So with all that said, I'm gonna let the prints speak for themselves. Um, and show you just a showcase of some of the things we've printed. Um, some of them have been painted, some of them have not been painted. 
literally all Chelsea did was remove the supports. Um, she used some flush cutters to cut the supports off, and then she had a tiny little Dremel just to kind of sand down the little nubs that were left for the supports. But other than that, all she did was apply paint or not apply paint. So all that's left is um, our recommendation. Do we recommend this printer? And honestly, yes. Uh, I love this printer. It has just kind of worked. It's made a lot of the um, headaches that come along with resin printing a little bit easier. Um, and their their software, Cheetubox, actually works pretty well. We use it in combination with Prusa Slicer to do supports just because I think Prusa Slicer is a little bit better at that. But um, it just, it just kind of works, which is really amazing for resin stuff and honestly for the price I don't think you can get much better right now. So if you're thinking about getting into resin or just need another good resin machine I absolutely think this one um, will work for you. So if you're interested in this machine we'll have links down in the description you can check it out for yourself and then make sure you get subscribed because we will be using this machine quite a bit in the future so if you want to see more we will have more. Also we are relaunching our Patreon and actually a lot of the models that you've seen in this video will be going up on our Patreon very soon. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out down in the description. Okay guys, well, thank you for watching and until next time, keep creating.